What's up guys, I'm Jimmy. Uh, welcome to my channel. In previous videos, we have known how to uh, program the F-Rip. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about the, the brown needle. You know, the loop is needed on the brown needle and I just call it the brown needle. Now let's jump to the video clip to see the formation loop. So here we go. We got front needle and uh, here we got the back needle. So now our fabric is you know hanging on the front needle, right? And now let's look at the action of the needle to see how the loop is knitted. The front needle will start to rise at third quarter of the altitude it can reach. The loop and the loop is actually you know still inside the the hook, right? And uh, when it go up, the loop will actually uh, outside of the, this town. See, right now uh, the loop is actually uh, outside of the sound, right? So when the needle goes down, if a uh, new yarn has not been catched by the hook, actually uh, the, the, this loop will slip off of the needle. So when the needle, you know, start to go down, the yarn feeder equipped with yarn will pass through the, uh, the, the front needle. And now uh, the front needle reaches the altitude. So uh, the yarn feeder equipped with yarn will pass through, uh, through, through the needle and uh, the hook of the front needle will catch the yarn and the front needle will start to go down and the end yarn will enter inside the hole of the, of the old loop the new yarn enters inside the old loop right and a new loop Actually, a new front knit has been made. Now let's see the position between the, uh, the new loop and the old loop. So this one we call the, the crown and uh, here we call it legs. So the legs of the uh, new loop is actually behind the old loop, right? You can see. And the, uh, the crown and the crown of the new loop is actually in front of the, of the front loop, right? I actually have the picture to, to show you guys the position of the uh, old loop and the new loop. And guys, let's look at uh, let's look at this picture. So we have um, three rows of front knit uh, in this picture, right? So one row, the first row, the second row, and the third row. Let's just see this this one, alright? And the third row. So the crown we can see is actually uh, in front of the uh, old loop, old loop, right? And let's see the lag. See, this part and this part is actually behind the old loop. Guys, I hope right now you understand the front edge. It's actually uh, simple, right? Uh, you just see the position, you know, uh, between the old, old loop and the, the, the new loop. So you can be able to, uh, to know if it is the, uh, the front edge. So right now I'm going to make uh, a fabric inside that software. So, uh, When you create a new file, uh, save is the first thing you have to do. Okay. Uh, save to uh, just, just save to this address. Run it. Run. Run it. Okay. Save it. And press F, and uh, the crap bill will show up. Bill. Today I'm going to introduce you crap bill. Uh, with this tool, actually, you will make uh, the programming faster than you just you know uh, draw draw intro by your hand. Let's talk about the first one, uh, the star needles. It's actually not the, uh, the, uh, the first needle of the knitting area. Uh, the, star, the star needles here is actually the, the width of the fabric. So uh, actually it determines how many needles you want to knit for, for fabric. I'm going to uh, knit 150 needles. So the star needle offset, I'm, going to, I'm, not, I'm not going to introduce right now. And let's just uh, shift to the with yarn. With yarn is actually, you know, uh, the how many how many rows you want to sit on top of the fabric, which is knitted by the with yarn. So uh, ten, I think it's, it's it's fine. So and the ribbons, how many how many rows of ribbon that you like to set in the fabric? So here the number is ten. So in total, there will be uh, twenty rows of uh, ribbon in the fabric. So, yeah, just ten. Never mind. Uh, 
the ribbon. Actually, what what type of ribbon that you like to have in the fabric? In the, in the previous videos, we have introduced the apple ribbon, right? So I'm going to uh, uh, to this one, uh, ribbon one multiply one, and uh, the package the package front it, and then the apple ribbon is made of one column of front it and uh, one column of back knit and they go alternatively. If you want to set one column of front knit uh, on, on the first needle, so uh, play this one. And if you want to set one column of back knit, you can um, set um, this one. Uh, package back knit. So I just play this one. And don't forget this option, you have to play the common knit for today's sample. So now let's just uh, move to, uh, to this area. Um, we can see 50, right? That means uh, one, uh, 100 rows of fabric will be knitted. For today's sample, I want to knit fabric with uh, 100 needles and uh, 100 rows. If you want to knit more than 100, you can, you know, uh, put the numbers that you like to set. And press OK. F2, uh, return to the start point, and we can see, and everything has been set. See, uh, the the yarns have been set, have been, the yarn feeders have been set, right? Number one for the trash part, and uh, here is the. Uh, ribbon area, right? So in total, it must be 20 rows. See, 20 rows right there. And here, the triple hitch, I uh, forgot to, uh, to mention that. Uh, right here, 1.5 row. Then that means uh, three row, three row of uh, tubular, tubular. So, it's fine. This row is the first row of the fiber, right? And the second function line, and uh, let me check, see? Number four, and from uh, number one to number it's actually the, the trash part area and uh, here we got 20 row of uh, ribbon right and because uh, in the paper bill we said 10 that means uh, 20 so here we got uh, 100 100 row of uh, front it see 100 and uh, after that is the trash part nothing have to see about that and uh, yeah everything has been set you don't have to do anything, you just, you know, uh, click this icon and uh, press OK and the software has been made. So now you can, you know, just directly uh, translate this document to the machine and edit it. And by the way, if you like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a thumbs up. Please, thank you. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.